So we're at about oh, 5,500 kilometers. How many miles is that? Fifty-five. Yeah, 5,500. Three, three a little over 3,000 miles. Yeah. So we, I guess we've covered probably about half half of the country, passing through the prairies now, heading up to northern. Well. Carbon sequestration is the process by which CO2 is captured and then placed into long-term storage in subsurface saline aquifers, reservoirs, oceans, aging oil fields, and soils. The goal is to mitigate or defer climate change and hence avoid destabilizing ecosystems on Earth. Many of the projects we conduct together with industry have to do with containment of gases and fluids in the subsurface. That could be in context with CO2 sequestration, where CO2 is injected to depths of one to two kilometers and needs to be contained underneath a cap rock. With many of these projects, escape of fugitive gases becomes an important issue, and that could occur along imperfectly sealed bellbores or along fractures and faults, which may be naturally occurring and could be reactivated. Isotopic fingerprints of thermogenic gases with elevated carbon isotope values allows us to di distinguish um, biogenic gases, which may occur in the near-surface environment, for instance, in groundwaters. The advent of new laser-based uh, isotope analysis for instance with a delta ray, now allows us to conduct CO2 concentration isotope analysis on a very rapid um, time frame. Join us on our next story when we discuss the melting of glaciers and the impact on climate and the water supply.